So it's around midnight and you can see I'm sat in front of a big stack of boxes. Tomorrow begins a new journey in my life. I'm moving to Scotland. So I have made it to Scotland. I'm in my new place. Now I've got to start setting everything up. So I will see you in a minute. So I am getting there. I've got some of my stuff set up. I've got the important stuff set up. The rest of it will have to wait. I'll get to it over the next couple of weeks. But I thought I'd give you a quick run through of the setup so far. Down there, I have my computer hiding out the way. Your monitor set up and in the middle. This is, this is new to me doing this. I've, I've had webcams for years, but here I'm using my old D7000. Uh, and I've hacked the firmware to give a full screen HDMI 1080p, oh, 720p output um, and remove all of the Nikon and UI, like the exposure information and stuff. So that's going into an HDMI capture card in the computer so that when I'm doing Skype and Facebook or, or, or recording videos out of the computer and I want the camera overlaid on it, I actually get a decent quality picture with some control over exposure rather than a crappy webcam with no dynamic range. I have my Rode microphone up here. This is the Rode NTG one, but I'm thinking of switching things up. I have, where is it? See, I have this. I figure if the camera is going to be there all the time, I might as well mount the microphone to the top of the camera rather than tying up this arm. Then I can free up this arm to mount my Sennheiser K6 at the other side. Oh yes, I have my Asus Strix Tactics Pro keyboard, which is lovely. And moving over to the other side, we have my Dubot Magician, which I had to set up because I needed to 3D print some stuff for a project that I'm working on. And that'll be coming up in a future video. And this was why I was thinking of swapping over this microphone to the on-camera mount rather than using this arm, because I want to free up this arm to be able to mount this microphone on the other side so that I can use this side of the desk for like unboxings, not that I do many of those, but unboxings and hands-on reviews, tutorials and a couple of little projects I want to work on. I've got here two sets of specular LED lights, which these are amazing. I absolutely love these. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to set those up yet, but I'll probably end up having one over the monitors here for when I'm at the computer recording and then another one over here somewhere for when I'm stood here filming. Um, what else? I've got another D7000 that's probably going to become part of an overhead rig on this bit for when I'm using the Magician for doing time lapses and for when I'm demonstrating products on this bit of the desk. Under here, this is why I use the, the Rode and Sennheiser microphones. Underneath the desk here I have a little mixer. It's a six channel mixer that supplies phantom power. It just feeds into the computer's line input and it works great. I want to talk about how I'm powering some of this as well but one thing I forgot to mention on the D7000 is that the firmware hack also turns off the automatic 10 minutes where the LCD turns off when you've got live view on. Um, but I'm powering this using the Nikon EH5 AC adapter and a dummy battery that goes underneath, which basically just replaces the whole battery and gives me all the power I need all the time. So one thing I do have to watch out for is that I remember to turn the, L the live view off on this uh, because it will still get quite warm, but I had it on for a couple of hours the other day and it was fine. Um, I can't imagine ever needing really to do more than a couple of hours a day at the computer recording video. Unless maybe I'm streaming something, I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much the setup at the moment. Uh, there's still a few things to set up. I've got a couple of boxes over there with camera gear and computer gear and lighting gear that still needs to go up. Um, and I've got a couple of products in that I need to review for DIY photography. There's this project which is going to be one post on DIY photography, but then it's going to be a series of probably five or six videos on this YouTube channel. Um, 
If you've been following my blog, you probably already know what it's about. If you don't, then go follow my blog. Um, <laughs> but hopefully the first of those videos should be coming next week. Because uh, now that I'm here and I've got an area set up where I can film regularly, I'll be getting videos up on this channel a lot more often. So that's it from me for now. It's been a long day. I'm going to head to bed. I'm tired. But I will see you in the next video. So go ahead and hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already and you'll be notified when it's up. See you next time.